What is up Shark Army, it's your boy Sharky, welcome back to another video. Today we are back in Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. This game is incredible, I'm super addicted, I've been putting a lot of hours into this game recently actually, and uh, yeah, I fancy doing another video, just a little bit of a gameplay. We did our first look impression video not too long ago when the game got released, and uh, yeah, I'm back in today, I'm just going to play a little bit of a game gameplay. Have fun in the game, showcase more of it because it's so good. And yeah, that's what this video is all about. So as you can see, we are towards the end of spring right now. It is summer very soon. And I got some taters, my tatters are ready. Potatoes! I've got nearly 6,000 gold. It's took me a while to get back into the game to get used to it. Like, I totally forgot what you had to do and where things were and stuff like that. So uh, I've been getting familiar with it for a while. But look, we've got our own horse. We have got our own horse and I have called him Shadow and the reason why is that was the first name of my horse in Back to Nature, the first ever Harvest Moon game I played. I named my horse Shadow for some reason. I was an edgy kid <laughs> and yeah, for some reason I like the name Shadow and all the way through Harvest Moon games, I just seem to call my horse Shadows. I have no idea why, where it came from. But yeah, I've uh, gone back to the good old days and I've gone with uh, the first name I ever chose. So Shadow is here on the farm. I need to give him a brush. Where is he? He's run away. There he is. Get here. Where are you going? <laughs> there we go, Shadow. So I've got a few more crops to water. I've upgraded to the copper watering, ca watering can right now. So this allows us to uh, water one row at a time. So three crops at a time rather than one. If we upgrade it again, we should be able to do another row. Or maybe a full square, I can't remember. But yeah, we've also upgraded our axe. That is copper. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do that today. Oh no, I think it's closed. I'm going to do the hammer. I'm going to get all the tools copper. I'm not sure if these are going to plant in time. These are cauliflowers or cabbages, I can't remember. Might be cabbage. We got this from the, the guy who sells rare seeds. The one who's wearing like the yellow raincoat. They're a little bit more money and they take longer. And I only bought them six days ago on the 20th. So if they take longer than 10 days, because there's 30 days in each season, I'm screwed. So yeah, I'm going to sell all the tatters, the taters, the grapes and the honey. Now the cucumbers and the flowers, I'll show you what I've been doing with them and why I'm keeping them. So I think that's enough stuff on the farm for today. If we go up here to the Harvest Goddess Lake near the spa, I've been giving her a flower every single day. You need to give her an offering every single day. I think 30 days in a row allows a special merchant to come to your town. He comes and visits you. Oh, and after the 10, so that must have been our 10th one, we do get the power berry. Let's go, our first power berry. And this increases our stamina. I think there's 10 in total. So um, yeah, that's amazing. This is the only time I'll be able to grant you such a magnificent gift, but I hope you still come and visit. Oh my, I'd rather fond of this how wonderful thank you bye so yeah as you can see we've got one extra heart now a stamina bar which is amazing so we've got one nine more to go but i'm gonna still keep giving her these flowers because if you do it 30 days in a row like i said something special happens and also we have got this guy up here now if you throw a cucumber into this lake river thing near the mine there you can actually get into that mine in winter when the lake freezes but if you throw this the special guy comes called Kappa. He's like a, a, a green duck with long hair. I think after the tenth time you give him a cucumber, he will speak to you one morning in your house and something special will happen there. So this all this is all coming back to me. I can remember doing all this in the old Harvest Moon games, Friends of Mineral Town and Back to Nature. And uh, it took me a while to, to get used to it all again. But then I just forage around and these yellow flowers, I have been giving them to Papori, which is the girl that I want to, uh, to marry. But we might be a little bit late today, actually. She might close at four or five. So I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Because time goes super fast. Come on, let's do this. Let's go, 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 go. Quick, quick, quick. Get in the house. Oh, yeah, she's here. So here she is. I've still not got one heart with her yet. It's taking so long. But if I give her this flower, oh, thanks. I'm not sure if she likes them. <laughs> if we go into friendships... As you can see, we've not got a colour heart with her yet, but we are on three of these music notes. So I think that's friendship, and then the hearts is like romance. So we're getting there. She's the most out of anyone, free. I do talk to a lot of people in this as well, so I've got two with some people. Uh, oh, the Doctor. I've got three with the Doctor for some reason. The Harvest Goddess and Kappa. Look how many gifts I've been giving them. 
and uh, yeah, they're shooting up. I might have to start giving her some different gifts, maybe it helps. She might not like the yellow flower as much. So I'm going to go to the beach now, we're going to do a bit of foraging there. I've got the fishing rod as well, so we can do a bit of fishing in the sea. Now I am a little bit disappointed with the fishing in this game though. And the reason being, they have categorised the fish to three different sizes, so small, medium and large. So for example, if you catch a goldfish, they class that as a small fish. Uh, if, you, if you catch a carp, it will class that as like a medium fish, etc. So the value doesn't matter on the type of fish, it all depends on the size. So there's three size fish, small, medium, large, and obviously the value is better the bigger the fish. But I just wish it was like Stardew Valley. For example, I've just caught this fish. We have got a sardine. It's 20 centimeters long. The biggest one I've caught and it's classed as a small fish which I've just ate it for some reason <laughs> if I catch another fish which is not a sardine well not a fish bone so there we go we got a sailfin sandfish that's 12 centimeters long that will add to the sardine so the sardine and the sailfish are two completely different fish but it's categorized into one type of fish which is a small fish so their value is the exact same even though it's a different fish there's no collection, you can't really catch all of the fish. Yeah, it's just small, medium, large. I just think it's a little bit a little bit petty. I, I don't know, it's, maybe it's just me. I'd prefer it to like be like Stardew Valley, for example. If you catch a sardine, it will be a sardine. It will have its own value. It's, you don't have to be a small, medium or a large fish. But it makes, it makes sense how they did it, because I think back in the day, every fish you caught was literally just one fish. <laughs> it wasn't a different kind. So they've improved it in that sense. That's me just being a bit petty, maybe. But uh, it is what it is. It just makes fishing not as fun. And I do like fishing in games. Like, it's exciting catching all these new fish. Like, you know, I've just got, oh, I've got a sandfish. But then it's just like, oh, it's only a small fish. It's the same as every other fish I catch. It just feels like you're catching the same fish over and over again. Even though you're not, technically. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's confusing. I'm talking a load of nonsense. Let's get to bed. Let me know. Do you guys like the fishing in the game? Or do you agree with me? So I'm going to put the fish, the bamboo shoots, into the bin. That's 252. We've actually got a letter, which I forgot to read. Uh, oh, the Grade A Fisher Trophy. Congrats. So where was that then? I think it's because we caught a certain amount of fish, maybe? I don't know. We made some good money today, then. Potatoes were great. How much money have we got now? 8,000. So if I go into my little chest here, cabinet... I've actually got some uh, copper, I've got 10 copper ore, I've sold quite a few. We only need one to upgrade a tool, so one will do for the hammer, we're going to go and upgrade it today. I've got two trees now as well, you start off with one, I've got an apple tree. So that's a grape and this is apples. Um, we can get it in summer, I believe, summer and fall we can get the apples, so... Oh Shadow, hello boy! You're growing up bigger, you are, wow. Stop growing, mate. I did have the horse festival not long ago, but sadly our horse wasn't big enough. So before I do the blacksmith, I'll water the rest of these crops, and then we're going to go and give the harvest goddess and Kappa their gift, their daily gift that I've been giving them. We should be close with Kappa now. I swear I've gave around 10 cucumbers. I think it's the one on the introduction. You've got to give him one to actually introduce him and find out who he is, and then it's 10 more from there. So it'll be 11 cucumbers in total. But we've got three days left. Oh, are these... Uh... Oh, we can harvest these. So these are flowers. The ones I've been given to the harvest goddess. Could sell them, but they, just, they don't really sell for much. I actually bought them from the guy who sold the cabbage seeds. Three days left, and them cabbages do not look like they're ready. So that's a shame. I've wasted some money there. I think there's like 300 gold. But it is what it is. I'll have to remember to plant them a little bit sooner. Got to make sure to get these weeds every single day because they grow out of control. It's the one farm game where the weeds do grow every single day. And if you forget about them once or one or two days, before you know it, they'll be overrunning your farm. So I'll get, sell the weeds. I'll sell three of those. Confirm. Let's go to the blacksmith first and then we'll go and do the forage loop around the other way. This time we'll start with the beach. But let's go here. It's Friday. It should be open. There he is, Sai, Sai, Saibara. I want to upgrade a tool. We want to go with the hammer, the copper. It's a thousand gold. Yes, we can actually upgrade that to the iron form, as you can see. We've unlocked copper and iron. The next one's gold, and then I think that I can't remember what it's called, but 
Oh, there it is. Mithril Hammer. And then there's also Mythic. Wow. So let's do the copper first. That'll be done tomorrow. It's literally just a one day wait. That'll be done tomorrow. So. Oh, we've got a cutscene. Look at this. Ack. No. Is this with Papori? The chicken's running away. We caught it. Wait, Chicky, come back. You aren't supposed to leave our land. You might be. Oh, there it is. It's Papori. We've got a heart event. Oh, hello, Sharky. Thank you for catching her. I only took my eyes off her for a second, but that's all sneaky little chicky needed to get past the fence. She's so fast that I have a hard time catching her, and she always barrels off at full speed. I worry she'll get hurt. Say, uh, Sharky, do you like chickens? Uh, chickens? More like ickens. <laughs> yeah, who doesn't? Really? Oh, I just knew you seemed like the chicky loving type. Oh, she's happy, guys. She's smitten. Look at that. We gave her a, she gave us a love art. I'm totally smitten with chickens. And as Papa always said, a heart with room for chickens is a heart full of love. Really? Wow. Anyway, I better take Chicky back home before she can get into my uh, into any more mischief. If you ever have anything you want to ask about chickens, come and visit. I am going to buy my own chicken soon. You know what? We can actually do that for the video. Shall we do it? Shall we get our own chicken? We'll have to get the animal food every day, which uh, can be expensive, but I think we should do it, guys. Let's go and have a look. Oh, eggs, look at this. Oh, look at them all. We've got a lot of eggs again today. That's a good sign that our chickens are all happy and healthy. I soft-boiled a few of them to munch on while I was working. Do you want one, Mum? My, my, thank you so much, Rick. Soft-boiled eggs make such a yummy snack. Look at this. Two back-to-back -back, uh, events. Is this Rick's or Papori's? I don't know. Oh, hey, Sharky, welcome. Here to do a little shopping, I'm guessing. Yep. <laughs> okay, sure thing. Take your time and let me know if you have any questions. Oh, I know. Hey, Sharky, do you like eggs? Uh, yes, they are most excellent. Or oh, no, they give me the heebie-jeebies. Let's say yes, we might get one for free. I'm glad to hear you think so. Hang on a sec. Here, our chicken laid a ton of eggs, so I soft-boiled some of them and ended up with a few too many to eat. I don't want them to go to waste, so I figured I'd let, uh, I'd give them to a fellow egg lover. If you want, that is. Sure. Good luck with everything on the farm. Nice, so if we leave and go back, so this is a hot spring egg, so if you get eggs in the game, you can actually go and dive in the hot spring whilst holding an egg, and it'll turn into like a, a hard-boiled egg, which is good to eat, so there's Papori, we've not got any hearts with her yet, but should we give her a cucumber, or should we give her the egg, should we give her the egg, thanks, oh, I don't know if she like that or not, well, we'll give it away as a gift anyway, so let's, um, Let's buy an animal. We can buy kits and goods. What's this? Oh, chicken and rabbit feed and a rabbit breeding kit. So a chicken, we can get... Oh my god. We can get chickens, brown chickens, and... Oh, look at those. An angora rabbit. So it's a rabbit with a long coat. When you shear it, you'll get fur. No way. That's awesome. So she'll get one brown and one white chicken. Oh, they look so cute. Look, it's got a little, uh, little jumper on. Chicken with a dark plumage lays an egg every day. Okay, let's get two. Bye. Well then, please give it a name. Oh, what should we call it? This one's gonna be. This one's gonna be Clucky. And Clacky. Clucky and Clacky. Welcome. <laughs> so there we go. So we're gonna need some chicken food. So if I get. There's two. So if we get 20. Get 26. We'll leave us with 4,000. Uh, that'll be 13 days, because obviously two per day, okay. Rabbits will eat this as well, but we ain't got none of those. Bye. So uh, there we go. When raising chickens, be sure to feed them every day. Collect chicken rabbit feed from the dispenser and put it into the feeding bin. Put enough feed in the feeding bins for each chicken. If you forget to feed them, they won't grow or lay eggs. You can also give your chickens their feed directly. It is important to show your animals love and care as you raise them. Stand near a chicken and press the confirm button to talk to them. As long as your chickens are properly fed, they will lay an egg every day. And the more the chicken likes you, the better the quality the egg will be. Put an egg in the incubator and in a few days it will hatch into a chick. Chicks born on your farm will grow to like you more quickly than chickens that are brought. Oh, so the ones that we raise ourselves, oh look at the little chick, uh, they're going to like us more. Ring the bell outside the coop to send your chickens outside. 
leave them in the pasture for several hours and they will find their own food, so you won't need to feed them. At 8 p.m. chickens on the pasture will automatically return to the coop. So we're only gonna need to feed them on rainy days because we can let them outside, right? So we've started off with a brown and a white one. The eggs that we get from that, we're gonna turn into, um, well, we'll hatch, sorry, we'll incubate them. So let's go to the beach, we'll do a foraging, we'll give the goddess and Kappa some, uh, some love, give them some of their gifts. And then we'll go and see our chickens. I'm excited, our first farm animals. Well, other than yours, which is a, uh, more of a pet, but yeah, let's do this. And here we go, we can forage, we've got some orange grass. Is there anything else here? There's normally some yellow grass as well. No, we've got a log. That'll do. Every little helps. So let's go down this way, and we'll see if we can forage anything along the way. Some blue grass, that'll do. Let's go up here. Get ready to get the flower. The moon drop. There we go, Harvest Goddess. You're welcome. Oh, well, if it's in Sharky, how lovely of you to come see me again. I always appreciate an offering. Oh my. I'm rather fond of this, how wonderful. She loves them, guys. Some more blue grass. Let's go give Capra his cucumber. We've gotta be close now. He doesn't say anything, he just gives you a little bit of a like, what's this for? But he does secretly love them. We've got some uh, bamboo shoots though. Let's go forage at the top, we might find some stuff here. Look, I've got some flowers. We'll go back down this way, look at that, more flowers. And let's finally go and see the chickens. They're gonna be chicks right now, so not gonna be much to see, but. Oh no, they're not. Oh, so we didn't, obviously we bought full chickens. They're gonna be chicks when they hatch their self. So here's Clacky. Hey there, Clacky, you're looking happy and healthy today. And Clucky. Hey there, Clucky, you're looking happy and healthy today to do, uh, too. So if we get a chicken food, we can literally feed it. Look at that. Hey there, do you want this chicken food? We fed it from the hands. And they're gonna love us more by doing that. So if I get all this food, can I just put it in the dispenser? Oh yeah, we can. I'll keep six on us so we can hand, hand feed them a few of the days. But uh, so if we go here, oh, what am I doing? So I need to put one on there like that. There we go, and then put all the rest in there. Sorted, wonderful. We've got our own chickens. The farm life is taking shape. So I've got some grass to sell, some of them flowers, some of those, those. We could probably just do a little bit of fishing tonight, increase that money for a few hours. You can actually literally fish right here on uh, on your farm in the little fast flowing river here. We've got a goldfish, but basically it's just a small fish. I'm not salty, what do you mean? Okay, fishing done. Managed to get seven small fish. They're worth 50 each, not great. I think the medium are worth 100, so they're a little bit better. But money is money. We've spent up on the chicken and our tool upgrade, so we're gonna need it. Uh, what's the weather tomorrow? Sunny. So it is Saturday, spring, and Papur is here. Good morning. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that a farmer is up early in the morning. So uh, guess what? I came to visit because I have something I want to ask you, Sharky. <gasps> Oh, she's starting to like us, guys. You know that my family keeps livestock at our store, right? Well, I got curious about how you take care of your livestock compared to us, and I was wondering if I could watch. Will you show me how you take care of all your animals? Uh, sure. Watch and learn. Oh, really? Yay! I knew you would say yes, Sharky. Okay, then. Uh, would you please show me around your farm? Sure. Follow me. Ah, so this is where your cows and sheep live. Uh-huh. Okay, I see. I don't have any, though. And this is the silo where you put the fodder for them. Boy, there are an awful lot of important things on a farm. There is. There's the chickens. Oh, this is the coop where all of your chickens live. What a quaint little coop. It seems well built and super roomy inside too. It must be an awful lot of work to run a farm this big all by yourself. I could never do what you do. Oh, look at the heart. It's like a, almost like a purpley color now, like a violet. Wow, you have more strength and work ethic than I ever imagined. I'm impressed. Weirdly enough, that just makes me want to know more about you now, Sharky. Hey, anytime. You pop down the farm whenever you fancy it. Thank you for showing me around today, Sharky. It was a lot of fun, and I learned a bunch too. It's getting late though, I should probably go. Bye bye. See you later, Papori. I'll meet you in my dreams. Hey, Shadow. What's up, little man? There we go, have a good brush and, it's, and some loving. Okay, so let's sell those. Our cucumbers are done today. Woohoo! 
that's probably going to, well, it will. That will be the last harvest of cucumbers. We've got two days left. Uh, the cabbages still aren't even looking anywhere near growing, so I'll water them just in case, but you know it's not going to happen right. And I don't think we can get any more cucumbers, so I might just leave those. Let's... Shall I water them just in case? Let's see. We might get some on the 30th, actually. I'm not sure. Oh, it's actually doing the thing today. It's actually skipped time. It's 4 p.m. nearly already by doing the thing with Pori. Oh, guys, we've got eggs already. No way. Oops. Let's not water them, though. Yes. So we can incubate these one at a time, right? So where is it? So if we get the egg, it's a regular one. <gasps> Look, we're incubating one. Let's go. Good chickens. Well done, Clucky and Clacky. Clicky's on the way. <laughs> so shall I let these outside? They'll have a few hours. Let's go. Are you coming? Hey! Look at this. They're roaming around. Loving life. The animals, the designs of the characters and the animals are so cute. So, so amazing. I love it. There ain't no better farm game than Story of the Seasons. I'm telling you now. Okay, let's go do our offerings. Can we hit... Can we break trees for wood? No. Is it only just logs? We don't get much of them. Jesus. Okay, here's the goddess. Let's give her this moon drop. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, I forgot about the hammer. It would have been done today. Oh, damn it. Oh, well. You can always get it tomorrow. It ain't gonna go nowhere. Okay, there's Kappa. Let's give him this. Come on, please. Love me already. Oh, Jennifer's here. Hey, Sharky, what brings you to me today? The energies that radiate from this mountain do much to soothe my soul. I was just exploring, foraging, giving weird ducks cucumbers. Because what duck doesn't like a cucumber? Let's pick up the weeds before we call it a night. Chickens have automatically gone back into the uh, their coop as well as the horse. Shadow's gone into stable. The bell rings every night at 8 p.m and all animals that are outside will automatically go in. Before the, the first ever game, the Back to Nature, uh, you had to push your animals inside to get in and out of the barn. So you literally could spend two hours just trying to get your cow back in the door. You'd have to literally push them and then guide them into the, the thing because you had no bell like this to, to ring. So I'm so glad they did that. Okay, we can probably sell those. We can sell that one egg. We didn't give Paporio a gift today either. Oh well. I'm just gonna go to sleep and we'll see what's happening in the morning. That day went pretty fast because of uh, the cutscene that we did. But we made 721 gold, not bad. Surprise! No rain again. So on Tuesdays we get the recipe TV, the cooking TV where you can learn a recipe every Tuesday. I've already had a few now, so Get our honey and our grapes. I always sell them, why not? I can't cook yet, I've not got the kitchen. Oh, they're starting to pop up now, look at this. But they're not gonna be done tomorrow, so. Damn it! Good boy, Shadow. You are getting very happy. I'm not sure if cucumbers will come up tomorrow, but I'll water these anyway. I think the cabbages are done for. They must take at least 15 days or something like that. Okay, you know what time it is. We've got to do what we've got to do. We're gonna start north this time. We'll go to the beach as well, because we need to go and get a hammer. That will open at 9am, I believe, or 10. I think it's 10, actually. So we'll wait around here. We'll get the hammer. We'll give Papori a gift. We'll go to the beach and go around and forage and give uh, the goddess and Kappa their uh, their gifts. This game is very repetitive. I mean, all farm RPG games are, but I don't know what it is about it, which is addicting. It's almost... I don't know. It's so fun. It's repetitive and it's the same, but it's so fun at the same time. So here he is. The copper hammer is finished. Go on home with it. Nice. We've now got our third tool, very, very good, which is copper. So the purple tree is closed on Sundays, and guess what? It's Sunday today, so uh, we're gonna have to find Papori somewhere else. Anything on the beach for us? No. There is usually a few things to find in here. Apart from Jennifer, but look, we've got a blue grass. Any flowers or anything? No, we could do fishing in this pond here, which is not too bad to make that bit of extra cash. We'll do it. We've only got to go and give Goddess a cap or something and literally the day's done. Oh, there's a flower right there. I'll take that as well. 
There's not a lot to do today. We need to check on the chickens. I forgot about that. Hey, fishing rod's gone up a level. We can upgrade it as well. Okay. So we can start catching bigger and better fish. This guy's just watching us. We've got a bluegill. Uh, Brandon, hello. Okay, let's take these. Let's get out of here. Oh, another blue grass. Let's go. I think we get rewarded for selling a certain amount of those. So I am trying to find as many as I can. Right, flower, moon drop. There we go, Goles. You're welcome, bye. <laughs> Literally doing the same thing every day. Right, let's go and give Kappa his uh, cucumber. How many have I gave him? Oh, yes! He's finally spoke to us. Here, take this. Now go away, don't come back. Oh, we got a purple berry. So the purple one, I believe, is uh, it's a bit... It's a bit different to the red one, so it's a power berry. It helps you during rainy days and winter. You don't lose as much stamina in winter and rain. And uh, yeah, it's just a better berry. I'm not sure if that got added on or not. Maybe the last heart here changes to a purple. I don't know. I can't quite see that right now, but yeah. That's the berry. That's the item we needed. It's going to help our stamina a lot more. Right, let's check on the chickens. We didn't let them outside, did we? Oh, damn. Oh, well. Here they go. Why is the only one egg? Who's not happy? Let's feed them uh, the chicken by hand. There we go. We've got a love heart for that. I don't know why we only got one egg. Did one not eat? Hmm. Let's put this in the shipping bin. Right. Fish, grass, weeds, shoots, bamboo shoot. Lots of these flowers. We can sell a few more of them. Okay. Yeah, let's go to sleep. There's nothing else. I could probably do some fishing, but I don't want to because I'm going to end the video right there, guys. That has been Story of the Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. Just uh, another gameplay video because I love this game so much. I wanted to get back on the farm and just, uh, yeah, make a video on it because I do love this game. Hopefully you guys do as well. Let me know down below what you think of it. If you do want to keep seeing more of this on the channel. I wouldn't say it's a, a game, like a let's play playthrough. It's just literally me just doing some gameplay videos every now and then uh, when I fancy it. And yeah. Make sure you do hit the like button if you did enjoy it, and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. We're so close to 60,000 subscribers. Uh, well, I'm not sure if I've already hit it by the time the video goes up, but yeah, make sure you do subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell to stay tuned on all my uploads. But until then, make sure you all stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.